Welcome back to another video. This one is going to be quite different from my usual videos. Uh, I saw somebody in a comment a while back said I should do a gameplay video and uh, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. I was going to go looking through my Steam library and my games that I have on Xbox and PlayStation and try to find one to play but I couldn't find one that I felt would be uh, good for these uh, for these types of videos, for ASMR videos so I was like whatever I'll just find a simple game like this uh, on, on uh, like a simple browser game so I found Minesweeper, the Google Minesweeper uh, I was hit to medium, and yeah, I'm just gonna be playing this, do a round of this, and see if I can win. Uh, let me know if you want to see me try the uh, the harder difficulty in another video. I, I'll try that, but for now, let's go ahead and see. Uh, I got 40 bombs. Uh, let's see if I can find all 40 bombs. I like to think I'm pretty alright at Minesweeper. Maybe not the best, but I am alright. So let's go and see. That was already an amazing start. So let's see, let's go and clear out the ones that I know for a fact are bombs. There we go, those ones I know for a fact are going to be bombs. And then let's go ahead and see anything else that I can clear out. This is a bomb because it's two touching that. That makes three touching that, so that right there is safe. This is a safe, meaning this right here is going to be a bomb. And so is that one, because that's one, two touching that one, meaning that's also three touching that three. So this is safe, making these also safe, as well as these and these. Look at that, making some pretty good progress already. Uh, all right, now before I start marking more bombs, let's go ahead and throw out some squares that I know are safe like for example this one is safe so is these also are these ones that's a bomb that one's safe safe bomb safe safe and let's see what's up here there we go that one safe that's a bomb for sure and safe Go ahead and clear out these. Ooh, nice. Got a big chunk there. Uh, that's a bomb, so that's safe. Bomb. Bomb, safe. Safe. So, I should probably explain it. If you don't know how Minesweeper works, basically what it is, is you have to try to find all the bombs. And you use the flags to mark the bombs, so that way you don't accidentally click a square with, with a, that you know a bomb is on. You can't uh, select a square that you marked with a flag and the way you, you find out what squares have bombs are by the numbers. The numbers tell you how many bombs are touching that square. So for example, let's go and see this one right here. There's one bomb touching this in any one of these uh, adjacent squares including diagonal. So this right here is touching it uh, and so that's the only bomb uh, within this area here and because of that it's also touching this too and so it means along with this one it, there would have to be one more bomb touching this too and as you can see there's two more blocks here but the reason I know it's this one is because there's a one right here and there's only one block here touching it so that one is a bomb making this one safe and because it's now that freed up this one as the only other block touching this three, I know for a fact that that one is a bomb. And I also know this one's safe because like I said, it's touching this one and it's also touching this two, which already has this one. So that makes this one safe for sure, as well as these ones uh, and these. That's a bomb and safe, safe, bomb, safe 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 and bomb i got 18 bombs left uh oh i didn't even see up here that's safe oh that I mean that's a bomb not safe uh 
making these three safe as well and these two all right so now we got a four the fours uh, fours and fives are the trickier ones because there's so many squares touching that number that you are most likely if you were to guess randomly you would most likely hit a bomb so you gotta kind of be patient with those ones as you can see this four already has three bombs touching it and there's four more squares around it so one of these four is a bomb and I don't know which one it is yet but I'm not gonna guess I'm just gonna wait till I get to it so let's go ahead and see uh, what else I can clear out of here this two has two bombs touching it oh I'm dumb my bad okay <laughs> well that was a bad example uh, I, I was I miscounted okay let's try this again I swear I am decent at this game that right there was an amazing start let's go ahead and just put markers down on all these uh, two touching that okay good that right there this four oh this is an easy four because there's only four blocks touching it that makes that easy uh, that makes that safe one two three four these are safe one two and three these are safe one so these are safe Ooh, big plays look at that so that's safe that's a bomb so one two three four correct now one touching that so safe so that's right there is a bomb that's safe one two one of these two is a bomb so I have to come back uh, later and figure out actually no I know it's this one this is the bomb because it already has two touching it so these are safe two touching that so those are safe one touching that so those are safe and there we go one two and three two touching two touching that one so that's safe two touching that one so these are safe one two okay so i got two blocks here i don't know which one is the bomb it's one of those two is a bomb the other is safe uh that's the bomb that's safe because one two making this also a bomb and these are safe one already touching that one two already touching that one so these are safe one touching that so there you go Ooh, massive look at that that's gonna definitely help out so that's safe I mean bomb 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 one two three four okay these are bombs as well bomb oh no safe I mean safe safe one two three touching that so safe one two three one there we go look at that uh, so we got a little bit here actually these are all bombs here because the three there's only three touching it so those have to be bombs so let's go ahead and uh, look at this little chunk up here try to get this finished we've got 11 more bombs uh, we got one touching here already so that's safe one touching here already so that's safe and one of these two is a bomb I don't know which one yet that right there is a bomb because one uh, let's see I might have to just take a risk and hit one of these at random at some point but I'm going to wait until last for that one possibly so let's go ahead and move over to down here we got 10 bombs left we have one touching there so safe and these three are also safe one touching this so that's safe and that is also safe this right here is the situation that I don't like being in cause, because it's basically just taking a gamble so let's go to move up a bit for now we already got two touching here those are safe got one touching this those are safe one touching there that's safe safe there we go this should definitely help out a bit if I can work my way down so this right here 
has only two touching it, so that's safe. Two touching that, that's safe. One, two, and there we go. That was actually an easy way of figuring that out instead of starting from down and moving up. Uh, so let's go ahead and go up here now. Two touching that, making these safe. One touching there, safe. One, two, three, okay, good. One, two, one of these two is a bomb. Don't know for sure which one yet. Just like one of these is a bomb as well. Uh, that right there is a bomb. As well as that one. Alright, so now I'm at the part where it's going to be taking some risks. I have four bombs left. As you can see up here. Uh, now i got to actually think. So, there's a three here. And i got two touching it. One of these is a bomb here, uh, and then one of these is a bomb here for the three, and then one here, one of these is a bomb, but I don't know which one is the bomb, so I could take a risk and hit right here. I. Yeah, okay. See if this helps out at all. Got two touching this. That doesn't help at all, actually. So I could hit the corner. And I failed. Yeah, I just had to take a bunch of gambles. Um, for that, because it was, it was kind of getting difficult there. Let's try one more game, see if I can win. That was huge. Okay. This is definitely going to help out for a good start. Let's go ahead and see what else I can clear. Anything else that I can mark as safe? Or as a bomb, I mean. Uh, yes, that. That's a bomb. So that's safe. Uh, these are safe. So are those. Ooh, nice. Got another big chunk there. One, two. There we go. That's, a, that's safe. That's safe as well. That's a bomb. Safe. So I hope, I hope uh, if you didn't understand this game before, I hope you understand it now. I hope my explanation was good. Um, I feel like a lot of people will understand how this game is played because it's pretty well known. But in case you didn't, I hope my explanation was good enough. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of that one because that's safe. Safe and safe. Safe. Good. Safe. Ooh. See, okay. So there's a five. However, luckily, luckily enough, there are only five touching it, so that's an easy one right there. If I still had all these uh, squares around it, then that five would have been a bit more difficult. So, let's look at this three here. We have two bombs here, only one were touching that three, making that a bomb. So because that's a bomb, there's a one there, there's only one bomb touching that, as well as that one, so these are safe. Three here, one, two, so one of these two is a bomb here, but uh, it's definitely going to be this one, because there's a one, so that's the only block touching that, so that's a bomb making this one safe. Now this four, luckily enough, I already have four touching it, making these safe. However, this four is going to be a bit trickier because I have two blocks here uh, touching it, making one of them a bomb, and I don't know which because I already have three here. Two touching that, so that's safe. That's a bomb because one, two. So is that. Alright, so things down here are going to be a bit more tricky from now on, so let's move over to this side a bit. Uh, that's a bomb, followed by that as well. That right there is going to be safe. That's a bomb. Safe. Safe, safe. Alright, so... This is definitely an interesting situation. Because this is just like a big rectangle. Uh, with a bunch of twos here. So I don't know which one of these is safe. However, I do know for a fact that these are safe. 
as well as those. That's definitely going to help out. So whenever that happens and it just leaves out a big chunk, that's what I love the most when the, when that happens because it definitely helps out, makes things way easier, uh, way easier. Now right there's a bomb making these safe. And that's a bomb. So is that. So if we look here, we got one touching there. These are safe. Two touching there. That's a bomb. Now we got another four here. They got a lot of fours on this one this time. Uh, but we have three more blocks, four more blocks actually, my bad. Two of those are bombs. So these four here, two of those are bombs. For the three here, two of these are bombs. For the three here, two of these are bombs. Although, this three here has only two touching it, so that'll clear that out. Meaning, I can mark this is safe, as well as these. Uh, so those are two. Only two touching that, so that's safe. Oh, that's a bomb. And there's two touching that already, so that's safe. We got a one there, so that's safe as well. Making this one easy to mark as a bomb. Uh, okay, so the ones make it really easy to know what is safe because all you need to do is just get one bomb. So if you already have one right here, I already uh, know that all the ones around it here are safe. So I can clear out a bunch of blocks there. And it just so happened to be at an empty chunk here as well. Which is going to make things way easier for me. So... That right there is a bomb, and so is that. Alright, so now I'm at the part where it's a little tricky. Basically, the situation I'm in, there's a two, and only one touching it, and two more touching it here. So these could either be, one of these is a bomb for sure. And the other is safe. The question is, which one is it? I have a 50-50 shot of uh, getting the bomb if I just click randomly, which I might have to do. I'm going to guess... That one's safe. Okay. Meaning that's the bomb. Which is also a good thing that I got that right because that's going to clear out all of these blocks there. Uh, and that one's going to clear out these. And there we go. Only got six bombs left. Not many blocks left at all on the map. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to figure these out down here. Now I'm, I am in a tricky situation here because I have no idea. Uh, which ones to click because this four is kind of terrifying because of these here. So, what I could do is look down here again, see if I can figure anything out down here. Got a four here with three already touching it, so one of these is a bomb, so I'll have to take another 50 50 gamble and pick one that I just think could be safe. My guess, going off the fact that there's also one down here, so one of these is going to have to be a bomb, I am going to say this one's safe. Yes. Okay. So, with this four here, we got two touching it. Got three blocks here, so two of those are the bomb. However, there's three touching it here, the, for the middle four here. One block here that's safe, I mean, that's touching it, so that's a bomb. Nice. Meaning I can clear this out, as well as these. 
making this a bomb as well because one two three four for that four that's safe and that's a bomb and so is that one I think I might actually be able to win this because I only have two bombs left and I'm getting pretty close okay now I'm at the part that I don't like this is where everything could go wrong real quick let's go ahead and see oh, I'm just gonna have to take a take a gamble here so I'm gonna gamble on probably this three here so I already got two touching the three meaning one of these is a bomb if this is a bomb okay no never mind huh do I just take a gamble because I got a 50 50 shot between these here so if I get it wrong that's it if I get it right I can definitely win. I should definitely be able to win this I am going to gamble and say this one right here is safe nice so there we go that's the bomb there and so is that and just like that that right there is how you win Minesweeper sometimes a lot of the time you'll end up with uh, moments where you have to just kind of gamble and take a wild guess uh, and it could result in you losing but it could result in massive help uh, making you be actually able to win so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. This is a v way different than my normal videos. Um, if you want to see more, if you want to see me try the uh, harder difficulty, you can see it's a much bigger board. Uh, if you want to see me try that, then let me know. And I'll maybe do another video with this difficulty. So until then, I'll see you next time.